Does radiometric dating prove the Earth is old? Does the radioactive dating of rocks prove that the Earth is very old? Absolutely not. We need to understand how these methods work so we can find out the answer to that question. First of all, they're based on the occurrence of radioactive atoms of different elements in rocks. For example, some atoms of uranium decay to lead over time. Atoms of potassium, some atoms decay to argon. Rubidium decays to strontium. And uh, we call them parent atoms decay to daughter atoms. Well, what most people don't realise is that there are three basic assumptions that are always used, and none of these assumptions are either testable or provable. Let's, let's run through these assumptions. Number one, that we know the starting conditions. Well, the geologists assume that there are only uh, parent atoms to begin with. Well, if there were some daughters, they think of ways to, to measure that and figure it out. But really, we don't know because we weren't there to know exactly what the starting conditions were. Number two, they have to assume that all the, the daughter atoms we measure today have to been derived by radioactive decay of the parent atoms in the rock. But how do we know? What about contamination? What if groundwater flowed through the rocks in the past, adding or subtracting some of the parent or daughter atoms? So that's another problem. And the third assumption is that the rate of decay has always been constant. In other words, we measure how quickly uranium decays to lead today, uh, potassium to argon, and then the, the geologists have assumed that that's the decay rate back into the past. So because uranium decays very slowly, they assume it's always decayed very slowly. Now, that again is not testable because we weren't there in the past to see whether the clocks have always ticked at the same rate. And geologists don't always admit to these problems and recognise them. Now, I was involved in a major research project and we found several lines of evidence that led us to the conclusion that the decay rates were much more rapid in the past, that they were accelerated and therefore the clocks ticked so much faster that the, the millions of years ages telescope right down to short young ages. And so, for example, we took rock samples from the same, uh, the same samples from the same rock layers and subjected them to several of the dating methods all at once. And we got different results for the different dating methods. Now, how could that be? Well, we discovered, as we did with several other lines of evidence, that the best explanation, indeed the only explanation, is that the decay rates were faster in the past so that while the potassium argon clock ticked through 516 million years, the rubidium strontium clock ticked through 1111 million years. And so if the decay rate hasn't been constant in the past, that means the clocks are wrong and therefore we can't trust these radioactive dating methods. But the interesting thing is the methods still give the similar relative ages. In other words, rocks down the bottom of the geologic record give older ages than rocks at the top. And that's exactly what we'd expect during the flood. The rocks laid down early in the flood should give you older ages than the rocks at the top at the end of the flood. So whichever way we look at it, radioactive dating, while, it, we can't, while it's inaccurate, there may yet be a way of, of using it to confirm what we always knew from, our starting, uh, from the starting point we have of God's word.